Hey guys, it's Gnostic from Gnostic Productions here. Uh, I've got myself a new microphone, I uh, hope it's working. And I'm here with an extended version of the Beam tutorial. So a lot, a lot of you have requested a, an extended version because you're wondering about some things uh, about the Beam and about the flames behind the girl and some other things. So I'm going to show you how you do the whole thing, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so. First, you gotta find the the render of the girl. Go to planetrenders.net and you make an account and log in. You have to make an account because if not, uh, you can't see the full renders. So you write Mirror's Edge and uh, click search. Search. Yeah, okay, took some time. So you want to click this, Mirror's Edge by Hawk. And click it again. And it should pop up in a new window. Wait till it's loaded, then click, right click and save file as. I'll just save it to my desktop. Then you want to go to Google and just write fire and click to images and take the second one do the same thing here oh pop up gotta load those so yeah uh, now we're ready to start so first click file new and create a new canvas which is 400 by 150 pixels press enter Oh, um, yeah, let me see, just got to find another brush uh, real quick, um, need a grunge brush maybe, um, smudge brush maybe, I don't know, nah, where are my grunge brushes? Come on, abstract maybe. Yeah, that'll work, I hope. If not, you have to use some uh, grunge brushes, but at least um, uh, let's get started. Just write gradient and select um, a black color here, I believe, and a red color here. And you go to the uh, gradient tool, which is here. If you just hold down um, the mouse button and go to gradient tool here, and you want to select this one, and just hold shift and drag it ac across. So it's like this. Then you go to filter, texture, and patchwork. Then you want to set it to about five and 10. Yeah, 5 for square size and 10 for relief, and press OK. So, then create a new layer, and uh, import the girl, I don't know what she's called, she's called Faith or something. Um, yeah, into Photoshop, and just um, resize her, let me see, oh, is she snapping all the way? Um, let me see, like this, no, it's kind of hard to <laughs> put a right, um, I don't know how to say it, but uh, yeah, uh, if you're on, in Photoshop CS5, you have to right click and rasterize layer, then you just uh, grab the eraser tool and erase the, um, the watermark that's, that's here. Uh, it's by Hawk, so maybe a little bit up. Uh, I don't know what the hell. Okay, so now you want to do the fire thingy. <laughs> um, then you you use um a grunge brush or something like that because uh, I don't know it just looks nice. But now I just have uh, abstract brushes so. I'll have to find a nice one. Um, 
Now let me see here. So many ugly ones. Come on. Man, this is just ugly as hell. Ah, well, I just uh, have to use them. So, what you want to do is click behind the arm here and just move along. And then behind the shoulder and behind the torso. So it looks something like this and just change the color to red and do this part something like that I believe and then what you want to do is you want to um, import the fire picture so find the fire picture and import it and do it like this something like that and rasterize it and um, Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of um, layer 1. And con hold Ctrl and Shift and press I. And click Delete. So now it should be like this. And you have to set it to Lighten, I suppose. Yeah, I think it's Lighten. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so maybe one more, I don't know. I think that's okay. So if you want to, you can smudge it out. Just, um, oh, wrong. Uh, the smudge tool is here. And just um, select the brush. Let me just find one that's decent. Yeah, what the hell. Okay, make it really small. And just carefully smudge it out. You don't have to do this, this is um, just optional. This is kind of, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so that should be it, I suppose. Let me see. Yeah, merge it down if you want to, and then uh, add um, a blending option. Or maybe first you want to Add some extra color around uh, the edges. I did that on my previous version. It's on red color. And then what you want to do is you control and click the thumbnail again. Then you go to the brush um, and just paint. Wait a minute. Make, make a new layer first. Then paint all around the edges. 